Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Let's continue our discussion with the dielectric dielectric boundary condition. Okay, the dielectric dielectric boundary condition is quite similar to the analysis of conductor free space boundary condition in my previous uh, video. Okay, let's say uh, this is our structure and this is our boundary, the flat and smooth boundary. And this line shows it normal to this boundary. And again, I am going to write the upper area is my first material. Okay, with epsilon 1. And my bottom area as my second material with epsilon 2. By looking at this epsilon 1 and epsilon 2, we can consider that material 1 is not equal to the material 2. So now I can write that epsilon 1 is equal to epsilon R1 epsilon naught. While this one is equal to epsilon R2 epsilon naught. Okay, now... Uh, because this is the, the, the Gaussian, so we need to have the charge assumption here. And this will be our charge, okay? The surface charge here. Okay, and... Uh, next, we will have our E, okay, where it penetrates from here, from the medium 2 to the medium 1, and when it reaches the boundary, it will refract. Okay, this is our E2. And this is our E1. And this is the point where E2 meets E1 and the analysis will be uh, analyzed at this point because this one we can relate e, E2 with the E1. So that from here uh, we can have that this will divide into the boundary condition number 1. And boundary condition number 2. Okay, so from here, I can say that the boundary condition number 1 for this case is D1 and equal to D2 and equal to rho S. While for this one, E1, T is equal to E2, T. Okay, because uh, this one both are dielectric. We don't have conductor here. That's why we will follow the general equation of the boundary condition. So this will be our uh, final equation for the boundary condition number one and the boundary condition number two so that's all for this video thank you